This video is gonna be the ultimate AI tools guide for content creation. We're talking about tools for ideation to get your creative juices flowing, tools for creating video assets just using AI so it can save you time and money, and tools to help repurpose and redistribute the content at scale. Let's get started. So if you're a pro or you're a beginner, we gotta start off with content ideas. Content ideas are hard. It's not that hard, Scott. Tell them watch. It's incredibly hard. But this tool is basically like cheat code for finding the best, the juiciest content ideas that's guaranteed to engage the audience because people really want these answers. So we're gonna use this tool called Gummy Search. It's basically a Reddit customer research tool. So once you're all set up, you can select the different keywords or different communities, which is subreddits that you want to monitor or like that your audience is. So if you're a business, it's gonna be your target customer. If you're a creator, this is gonna be the audience you're trying to serve. So once you have that all that set up, it's gonna give you solutions people are requesting, pains and anger people in that community are experiencing and essentially topics for content ideas which people just crave naturally so all you gotta do is take those ideas dig into this tool find out what people really want where people are struggling what people need help with that's your content idea if you're creating content on these topics it's gonna help you become a voice in the space it's gonna give you the thought leadership thing that you kind of crave and the content is gonna be really valuable to your audience so if you're trying to nurture them for your for a sales pipeline for just for audience building or for anything you're trying to create content for this is gonna be perfect. And once you have any content idea, the next thing you need is a script. And of course, let's say you're creating educational content like me. It's kind of boring, right? I mean, we're not, you know, getting off the buildings or whatnot, but there are ways to start thinking about content and how you can make it more engaging. So for that, we're gonna use this GPT called Mr. B Script Generator GPT. So you can just search this on your GPT store. If you have a GPT paid plan, this is gonna be available for you. For all the free users, I think they're rolling out the GPT store for everyone really soon on the free plan as well. But basically we're gonna use this GPT to not exactly create these exact videos, but just start churning some ideas. So here, I'm just gonna try this GPT. I'm gonna put in a simple topic. Can you help me brainstorm video ideas for a topic where I want to educate people on how to use ChatGPT? So typically you and I would do is like get on a camera. I was like, hey, here's how you should use ChatGPT, yada, yada, yada. But in this case, the video ideas we're getting are completely different. We're getting ideas like a survive 24 hours using only using ChatGPT, teaching GPT by playing games. Last one, stop using ChatGPT when a 10 grand or something. These ideas are not gonna work for you, but at least you see like how you can start thinking creatively and differently on making your content a lot more engaging. I promise I won't talk a lot of GPTs, but there's only one more I wanted to show you. So let's say you're working on any Instagram reel or TikTok video. I like using this uh, GPT called Reel Hook Generator. And just type the topic which I'm creating a video on. It's gonna give me like 15, 20 different hook ideas in a table and scores them on based on relevancy, curiosity gap, and FOMO. The hook with like the highest score is the one I'm gonna pick or build on top of. So this really helps me like get down to the basics and like just use the core psychological principles and writing a hook that's a lot better if you're new to content creation just try those out and see if those videos work or not or like take one of your older videos use this jbt create the hook and see if the video performs better than your last one and a quick bonus on ideation if you don't want to use gpts you can use this chrome extension called prompt genie what it does is that whatever prompt you're trying to use it just optimizes the prompt and creates a better prompt so you can get the best creative results out of chat gpt that's a simple chrome extension called prompt genie so check that one out that's what i want to do quickly share on some ideation stuff. Let's look at how we can use AI to generate some assets. So I'm here talking to the camera. I've been doing this for four years, but let's say you do not want to do that. You want to create faceless videos, but you want to use your own voice. So if you use 11 labs here, what you can do is you can clone your own voice and you can just type in any script and it's going to create that script in your voice, or you can use one of those AI voices that are super realistic. You can't tell if it's AI or not. And you can just type in any script, pick the voice that can start creating content. Hey, I am Samantha AI. I will be your AI therapist, so you don't have to spend $200 on real therapy. You can also use this tool to create content in multiple languages. So you can just select any language you want, pick the character, write the script, and voila, you have the voiceover. But let's say you want to take it a step further. Let's say you want the video to look like you and sound like you, but you don't want to be on camera. So in this case, let's use this tool called Heijin.com. I'm going to show you a demo of like my actual cloning, and you can tell me how realistic this sounds. This is my AI avatar talking right now. I wonder if I should use this for all my YouTube tutorials. Tutorials. This clone was created like six to eight months ago. The technology has gotten even better now. All you have to do is like, just get on the camera and record yourself for like a minute or two, train the bot. And now it's gonna start sounding and acting like you. The hand gestures are kind of funny right now, but if you're just looking at the avatar, this tool is perfect. If you wanna use it for YouTube videos, training videos, internal videos, marketing videos, whatever you wanna use it for. But if you don't want that, uh, you just want an AI avatar, you can use Heijin for this. However, I like Synthesia for this a lot. You can quickly add a dynamic background 
to the videos, you can add your presentation or any other assets to the video quickly. So if you want to create video completely just using an AI avatar with an AI voice, you can use Synthesia.ai. Just type in the script, choose your avatar, and you have a realistic avatar that has a bit more facial expressions than normal AI that you probably used to seeing. And now you have this AI video generated just from a script. They can edit quickly using this tool. Okay, a couple more interesting ones. These ones are like pretty much for people who are maybe creating ads or like do paid media or do YouTube perhaps. So if we go back to 11 Labs and we go to their sound effects, you can type in any sound effect you want to add to your video and it will create that for you just automatically using AI. When I was brainstorming, I was like, hmm, I'm just want to like want to hear a sound of horses running through mud. I just typed it in and this is the sound I got. Rate the sound out of 10 in comments and let me know what you think about this tool. And let's say you're running ads or you want to do YouTube video and you want music. Use this tool called Udio or Udio and just type in what kind of music do you want and this app will automatically generate like a track for you. Either it could be just instrumental, it could be one with lyrics or you use chat GPT to generate lyrics and then use this tool to generate the music based on the lyrics. I It's incredible. These are the few tools if you're trying to create the assets that didn't exist before, but there are a couple other tools that are super cool and you should definitely check out. So let's say you want to create aesthetic content for Instagram. The website I would definitely use here is called GridBank. So GridBank is basically like a stock videos, but for Instagram. So they have a bunch of people who upload their stock videos just at home or traveling or whatnot. And you can just search up by whatever category you're looking for, productivity, travel, etc., etc., or just go through these categories. And you have all these clips, stock footage you can just stitch together use an AI voiceover and add it to your Instagram so with the other tools you kind of really create that Instagram aesthetic that marketing girl vibe kind of stuff but if that's the kind of vibe you're looking for like a bit more polished uh, you can use grid bank here and the stock videos and just put it on Instagram but if you want to create UGC videos either for running ads or for organic content on your social media to grow your business look at this tool called Creatify. so all you got to do is type in the script or use their AI script generator and it's gonna take an AI avatar which are like real people recorded their avatars. I created this video on one of my own apps and the video got like 4,000 views on a channel that was only 200 followers at the time. If you hate reading long documents, this one is for you. When you upload your PDF to this app, it automatically turned the notes into mind maps. So it works. So you can use this for organic content for ads. Super useful if you want to test with organic UGC content for paid UGC content, but you don't want to hire anybody or you don't have like the resources yourself. Okay, some video editing stuff. There are a lot of good apps here, but I want to share two that's going to be super simple and super effective. So the first is called Veed. So Veed is like one of the easiest AI video editing tool. You can dub, you can remove backgrounds, you can like correct where people are looking. So let's say if I'm looking away, I can just single switch and it will automatically make me look at the camera. You can edit by just kind of typing out what you want to be edited out of the video. You can add captions and everything. The cheapest and the most well-rounded app at like the price it gets at. So I would say if you want to use AI for video editing, just use Veed, keep it simple. If you're kind of a more short form person, I would go for a sub magic so magic is a super cool app where if you have a video just kind of raw footage it automatically adds those trendy captions kind of zooms in a little bit automatically so it does like a lot of the editing for you automatically so again if you're creating content yourself not using any of the ai tools or even if you are use this app you kind of quickly get that editing done for show from content moving on when you create one piece of content you post it your job is done. That's what you think, but it's wrong. You gotta leverage it. If you create one piece of content, it's working. Instead of doing a lot of extra work, you gotta juice out anything that's possible from that piece of content that you put your heart and soul into. So we gotta repurpose content. The simplest possible way to repurpose content is to use this app called Repurpose. What it does is that, let's say you post your video on TikTok or you start with Instagram, you can automatically take the video, remove the watermark and post it across any of the social platform you want or all of them at once. So the best example is that you create a video on TikTok, it automatically posts on YouTube Shorts, your Pinterest, your Instagram. So it's a really, really good way to get a lot more eyeballs on the same piece of content without lifting your finger. But keep in mind, of course, some platforms have like a little bit of tweakness to it. Maybe you want to change the hook you're using on Instagram or whatnot. So of course it won't work in that case. But if you just want to get started and start getting more eyeballs, do it. You're instantly going to get your content posted across all the platforms. Super useful. The other one I really like is called Clap. So basically, let's say you are starting with a long form 
from video and you want to turn that into short form video. So this is super useful for people who do a lot of interview stuff, who do a lot of like longer kind of lifestyle sort of videos. This app will automatically take a long form video, pick the best parts for the short form and automatically create a vertical version with like the auto focusing and the captions. They can just quickly post on Instagram, TikTok, automatically done from a long form. So imagine like you record a long form video, you use clap to then get like the shorter versions of the video. Then you use repurpose to then post a shorter form of version across all the platforms. Just think about how incredible and how powerful the network of video is going to be if you can start including these things into your workflow. So a lot of people ask for this tool when they see my Instagram content. It's called ManyChat. Anytime people on Instagram say like, hey, comment this keyword, I will send you this link. This is the automation tool they use. Super simple. They already have pre-built templates. All you have to do is connect your socials, then select the videos that you want this automation to trigger on, use the keywords you want this automation to trigger on, and then set the message you want to send. So now anytime anybody's going to send you know, a message like key keyword or like comment a keyword, they're automatically going to receive the message. Super useful if you're trying to do lead generation or you want to like send people stuff, send people links, add them to your mailing list. Highly, highly recommend. It's 20 bucks on the paid plan. Super worth it. But we talked about tools like Gummy Search to find the content ideas. We talked about using chat GPT or a few GPTs for script or like video ideation for hook ideation. And we talked about using tools like Hage and Synthesia, Eleven Labs to clone your voice, to clone yourself, to creating AI yeah, videos, audios, AI yeah, sounds. So basically anything you would want to need for content creation all can be generated with AI using these tools. Then we talked about a couple of tools for video editing like V.AI, some magic for like those quick punchy short videos. And we finished off with repurposing the videos using repurpose to send it across all different platforms, using Clap to turn a long form video into like punchy short videos and many chat to drive engagement on Instagram and like sending people links and really engaging with your audience automatically. So if this was useful. Do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We'll talk about different AI hacks and tools to help you upscale, to help you learn, get better and faster and do things cheaper. See you next time.